Hi, my name is Dr. Bashi. I'm a board certified dermatologist here in Beverly Hills. We're about to start a CO2 laser resurfacing case of the face. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do facial nerve blocks prior to CO2 laser. So we're going to start here and we're going to start primarily first with the identification of all of the nerves. So we have here right at the mid pupillary line, you can feel the notch. We've got the supraorbital nerve coming out of here. Immediately to its side, about a finger breadth, we can find the trochlear area. So we're going to be able to uh, block the supratrochlear nerve and also the infotrochlear nerve from here. And then again at the mid pupillary line, we feel an indent. We take one finger breadth from the indent. That's going to be our area right here where the infraorbital nerve will come from. If we still go down the mid pupillary line, go ahead, open your mouth for me. And if we look at the first premolar. We can see the first premolar is right here. This is going to be where our mental nerve is going to come from. So again, we look and see where our first premolar is, first to second premolar, mid pupillary line, right here is going to be where our mental nerve is going to come from. So now we have very good anesthesia of this portion of the face. We turn her face slightly, what we're going to do is we're going to go a finger breadth away from the lateral canthus and a finger breadth down, we can get the zygomatic nerve, okay, and that's going to help give us some anesthesia here. And right in front of the tragus of the ear, a superficial injection will get the oricotemporal nerve. Some people will also do an injection about the third of the way between the lateral commissure and the tragus, about around here, and that's the buccal nerve. So we're able to get a number of nerves here on the face in order to get good anesthesia. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. Okay. Go ahead, open your eyes for me. Okay, so mid pupillary line. We can feel the notch, hold the notch. Little poke, one, two, and three. Perfect. Okay, same thing. We can feel the notch here on the inside. How are you doing? You doing okay? Yeah, okay. Doesn't hurt? Nope. Okay. Now we're gonna feel for our little indent here. One finger breath down from that indent is where we have the infraorbital nerve foramen. Here we're going to put a little bit more of the anesthetic so we can make sure it gets in where it has to go. Okay? Again, one finger breath away from the lateral canthus, one finger breath down. Zygomatic. And going from a third of the way from here to the tragus, approximately right here underneath the zygomatic bone, we're going to get the buckle. To the side, right in front of the tragus, a superficial injection of about one and a half to two cc's. We'll get the oricotemporal nerve. We'll just massage it in place. And then the last nerve on this side is going to be the mental nerve. Again, go ahead, open your mouth. We see here, this is the first premolar. We know we're dealing with the area right here. Perfect. You can see the infraorbital nerve block has already caused a little bit of a lip droop. So we know that it's working. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead to the other side. Same thing. We're going to feel for the supraorbital notch. And inject. Massage in place.
cochlea. We're going to feel for the notch again. And inject. Okay. Infraorbital again, we're going to feel for the notch, approximately a finger breadth below that mid pupillary line. And inject. Massage it in place. Go ahead, open your mouth again. Again, we're going to look for the premolar. The first premolar is right here. Mid pupillary line. That's going to be our mental nerve block on the left hand side. We massage it in place. Okay. Only three more on this side left. Go ahead, look to your right. Again, we have the area right in front of the tragus. Superficial injection here of approximately two cc's, one and a half cc's. We're using plain lidocaine here. Massage in place. Now we've got the zygomatic branch. One finger breadth from the lateral orbit, lateral canthus, one finger breadth down. Okay. And to get the buckle, a third of the way underneath, right underneath the zygomatic bone. And we're done.